Hey ya. Hey ya. Hey ya. It was like in a video game. It was some some character. It was like, hey ya, when you would like walk up to it and like push A or something. Hey ya. Steve would know. Chapter 7 The Royal Banquet. Right this way, follow us. Come along. Step lively. Here we go, they shouted, hopping from the wagon and bounding up the broad marble stairway. Milo and Tok followed close behind. It was a, a strange-looking palace. And if he didn't know better, Milo would have said that it looked exactly like an enormous book standing on end, with its front door in the lower part of the binding, just where they usually placed the publisher's name. Once inside, they hurried down a long hallway, which glittered with crystal chandeliers and echoed with their footsteps. The walls and ceilings were covered with mirrors, whose reflections danced dizzily along with them, and the footmen bowed coldly. We must be terribly late, gasped the Earl nervously as they reached the tall doors of the banquet hall. It was a vast room, full of people talking loudly and arguing. The long table was carefully set with gold plates and linen napkins. An attendant stood behind each chair, and at the center, raised slightly above the others, was a... My ego got in the way. Oh. I thought about how interesting it must be that I was reading this. I thought, I'm really, like, doing well, I was thinking, as I was reading, and it disrupted everything. I hear the sirens in the distance, of course. I hear traffic more than I hear nature. It speaks technology. Well, I gotta do this video again. Egomaniac. Be aware of it. So that you can change it. Stop doing, not stop doing that, but don't, why are you letting your mind flash to things like that of greatness?